what's going on. been rehabilitated after the crashing down of the World Trade Center. Amazing. 
Hi, my name is uh, Al Durrell and I'm with uh, Yanni at the uh, World Trade Center. Uh, we're just outside actually uh, the, the new tower being built, One World Trade, as you can see. Um, a lot of construction underway and uh, it's going to take a while before the whole area is, is built. Um, I, I would say I, I would consider myself a survivor. I watched one of the buildings uh, fall. It was the uh, South Tower back in uh, September 11, 2001. I was standing on Park Row, which is in front of an area of courthouses. And at that time, all the buildings were evacuated in that area. And I was standing alongside with thousands of other people uh, watching uh, uh, the, the two the two towers burn, the flames coming out. It reminded me of a scene from a movie. Mm. Um, and it was a spectacular scene. It was uh, also a very scary moment. Uh, one of the scariest moments of that particular day was not knowing what was going to happen next. Mm. Uh, because all you heard were reports of airplanes missing and, and airplanes in, in different parts of the country. Uh, I did watch one of the towers fall at 9.59 a.m. The, the second tower to be hit, which was the South Tower, and I always refer to it as a tower on the left, collapsed. And it took about 10 seconds to collapse. It was difficult to see at first that it was collapsing because of the huge cloud of, of, of smoke uh, uh, that was on, on top of that. Did you uh, have any family in the vicinity that you were sort of panicking about at the same time? Uh, I had friends in the air that worked in the area. I know, uh, considering I know a lot of people since I grew up here in New York City, I know of two people that were killed. Mm. Terrible. Um, I think it's important that everyone remembers what happened on this particular day. Not only because we just had the death of, uh, of, of Osama bin Laden, uh, which, was, which was great news for all of us, but I think it's important that we are continually reminded uh, of what happened. And, and if, some, if someone were to ask me what, what would be the first words I would explain to anyone that wants to know about my thoughts on 9-11, and that would be this our freedom was attacked. And it doesn't matter what country you're from, what city you're from, what part of the world you're from. Those of us uh, that, that come from a free country, freedom was attacked on that day. And we always have to remember that, and we always have to be vigilant on what occurred on that particular day. So you're, um, like a lot of Americans, pretty happy that bin Laden's dead. I would say you, not only you Americans. Think we can relax? Uh, I, I would say, well, first off, uh, I will say that not only Americans are happy, but I think people around the world are oh, ecstatic. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, you know, those of us from the free world, uh, whether you're from Europe or, or, or Australia or the United States, we're all happy that he's gone. Mm. Can we relax? No. Mm. Because there were people for the rest of our lives who will continue to come after us and attack our freedom. Mm. Well, thank you very much for those few moments of your wonderful wisdom and your experience. My pleasure. And, uh, Hopefully, uh, next time I come back, that we'll see a bit more of this finished. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. very much. My pleasure.